As some of you know, I can't be satisfied with just the status quo. Landing and taking off from snow with skis as they were designed makes me think, what else could I do with them? It's not long before I'm dipping them in the water. Hydroplaning on skis is easier than tires. The question that I have yet to answer is, how slow can you get before you sink? 2,000 miles away from home, I am playing it safe and not fully testing the envelope. I've equipped my skis with plastic bottoms so that I can land on gravel and rocks and not damage the skis on my airplane. I decide that this is as good a time as any to test them out. It works. As Paul flies along here, you'll see an avalanche get set off. Paul blames it on my 90 inch prop, but I'm not so sure. You can see Paul is feeling for the ground. The flat light now makes it difficult to see where to touch down. It's much different than it was earlier in the afternoon. Paul flies the Cub with me and Jay in the back. We're back at the top of the mountain where we left the otter. 